Tesco. Share the goodness. Now, if you're like me, baking brings back great memories of family time spent in the kitchen during times of celebration. I remember my grandmother baking all of my favorite treats while I watched and tasted almost every single cookie right out of the oven. I was a naughty boy, I must say. So if you have memories like that, we'd like to rekindle them for you with this very delicious banana and granadilla yogurt cake recipe. Quite a mouthful, but I promise you it's going to be a good mouthful. And here to show me exactly how to make that is food contributor of True Love magazine, Dumelo Sebopa. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, Katlejo. How, how are you? I'm um, great. Good, didn't you? And here we are, just kind of bouncing it off already. <laughs> and I, I, I'm loving the pink. You look like you've just jumped off the Baking Awards red carpet. Thank you. It's my favorite color, hey? Working it, girl. All right. Thanks. So we're making a banana and granadella yogurt cake recipe. Yep. <laughs> Ingredients time. All right. Mm -hmm. What do we need okay, to make? We need butter mm -hmm. or margarine. You just cream it with your custard sugar. Okay. So, yeah, I've already started doing that. Okay. So, so, in this case, you can use butter or margarine. Or it margarine. doesn't matter. Yeah. It okay. has to be soft. Not straight from the oven. It has to be soft. Okay, cool. So, yeah. kind of like room temperature, that kind of thing. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our eggs mm -hmm. to our mixture. That's just two normal eggs, nothing yeah, about them. Yeah, two large eggs. Two large eggs. Yes. Okay. Um, would, it, would it be wise to um, beat the eggs beforehand and then pour them in beaten or just um, like you do it there? You can do that, mm -hmm. but it's always nicer if you have them whole. If yes. you know, just add them one at a time mm -hmm. would also help as well. All right, cool. Just to quickly. You got go a very quick hand there. Nice. Mixture. All right. And then after that, add your yogurt. All right. Which in this case is some uh, granadilla, granadilla yogurt. yogurt. All righty. And your mashed. Bananas. Banana, yes. yes. You know what that reminds me of? Uh -huh. My grandmother used to make pisang brood. You know banana pisang loaf. Brood. Banana loaf, yes, yes that's exactly. That's my favorite. And then, but she used to make it with these the old bananas that have ripe, gone like... Very you know, ripe. Very, very ripe. Very yeah. ripe ones. I love it because when you have your ripe uh, bananas, you can easily whip up some. Yeah. That you smells know? amazing, by the way. Okay. Oh, Mix man. that together. Just fold it in. Mm -hmm. And then we're adding our sifted. Self-raising flour, Sasko self-raising flour. Okay, okay. So you add it in bit by bit. Bit by bit, so that it can go quicker mm -hmm. and easier for you to mix. All right. See, this is the part where I'd be sitting watching my grandmother asking, okay, but go, go, get to the guy. Where can I help? You know, what can I do? And then I'd always lick be wanting ball. to do something. Yeah, lick a bowl. <laughs> lick a bowl, my child. That's what she used to say. I think this is where we all started. <laughs> <laughs> With licking the bowl and especially when, you know, you know, in the olden days, like you would have mama go baking for... Society, Yo, like your monthly yes. meetings and yeah, yeah. so forth. So we were waiting for that part, you know? <laughs> so that's where my baking skills started. <laughs> you come straight out of my memory. Oh, my word. <laughs> just like that. Of course, if you just joined us and you'd like to get the ingredients of this recipe, SMS the keyword SASCO to 33728 and we'll send them straight to you. Okay. There you go. So you're kind of just folding it in Fold as you go. All now. right. Well, this is obviously like a bit of a process. You've got to be patient with patient you can, with this one. Yeah, you can also use an electric mixer uh -huh. at home. Yes. Or you can use your whisk. Ah, okay, cool. Your yes. My grandma had a whisk. Yeah, I mean, the wooden spoon will just help you not to overmix your mixture. Is it possible to do that? Yes, it is. It's very how, possible. How do you know when it's overmixed? Um, what happens is it will have a lot of air bubbles in it yeah. and you will have to take them out before you bake it. Otherwise, you will see... After you've baked your cake, it yeah. will have a whole lot of holes on top. And it looks like cheese. Yeah, and then the inside <laughs> wouldn't really be... All right, cool. Beautiful. And speaking of which, if you don't have a mixer, how about we give you the chance to win a mixer? We've got a beautiful K-Mix Kenwood mixer, along with a whole lot of other Sasco goodies. There's quick treats, there's, uh, it's, it's, it, there's Carol Boy's sugar spoon, there's a nice apron for you to win, there's a, this baking uh, recipe, recipe book. book that you could win. All you have to do in order to stand a chance to win all those fantastic prizes is SMS the keyword WIN to 33728 and the prize valued at 4,500 Rand could be yours. All right. Okay. Okay, and then in your... I'm gonna move this away. Yeah, sure. Grist pan, you just right. need to... Get it in there. Yeah. What's this pan called? Is it a special kind of pan or is it just any um, kind of pan? No, it's, it's, a, it's a special kind of one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you use it a lot for when you bake your angel cakes. Yes. And so forth. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very... But so far, this has been very easy. I think, I think I'd okay. be able to replicate this at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Um... It looks like gelato. 
I can eat that just you like that. You want to have it now? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. Um, I'm going to ask you to put this in the oven for me. All righty. Let's hold it for you. Let me just quickly put it. No, it's thin. So you just want to make sure that it's kind of covering yeah, all the area. It's nice and smooth as well. Yes. Yeah. If you could just put All it. All right. I'm gonna put this in our oven. bottom oven, and uh, it would have been preset at about 180 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius. Yes, please. And how long will the cake be in there for? Uh, it will be in there for about 50 to 60 minutes. 50 to 60 minutes. Yes. In which time you could then I don't know what make tea. And um, do eat. your icing as well. Mm -hmm. Do your um, icing. Yes. Okay. All right. And then. Um, when it comes Fortunately, out. Fortunately, yeah, we have a ready-made one mm -hmm. and the ready-made icing as well. Lovely. So, Icing, how do you make that? Uh, you just mix your icing sugar yes. and your granadilla pulp like together. That. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then just put it on top. This is, this is the hectic part. Because, I mean, you've got to make the cake look pretty. Yes. <laughs> you have to. All right. Kay. And so you'd work your best magic, just kind of working it around there. Uh -huh. This does look rather amazing. Okay, you can actually let it flow in between, yeah. just to have... Um... Oh man, this looks amazing. I'm actually gonna lick the bowl. Mm. <laughs> See what that tastes like. That's fine. No, it's good. Yeah, that that's good. mighty good. Okay, and then you can just pour the granzilla pulp on top. Wow. Just for... That is amazing. The end product, and there you go. That it's is okay. beautiful, just like that, ready to serve. Ready to serve. Ooh, I can just imagine, ooh, mzala. Ooh, hi, the society is going to be... It's nice, actually, for, <laughs> like, your afternoon cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, I mean, thank you very much, really appreciate it. My pleasure. There you go, you've seen how we do it. You try it out at home, let us know what you think of it. Sasco, share the goodness. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.